I S U P K. You understand? Get the, pull that out for me, you understand? Because the black man, you are the real Jew according to the Bible. That's right. You understand? Not not that hook-nosed bastard over in Israel over there sucking baby penises. That's right. That ain't no damn Jew. You understand? But black man, you the real Jew. You the salt of the earth. You understand? You the one that give the whole earth flavor, man. You understand? The white man don't even flavor his damn chicken, man. Right. Read on. The book of Revelations, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works in tribulation. You understand? The Lord is talking to black people. He says, I know thy works and thy tribulations. You understand? Read on. In poverty. And what? In poverty. And rich. In poverty. And wealth. In poverty. You understand? The Lord said he knows thy poverty, man. You understand? He's talking to the Jews right here, man. And he says, I know thy tribulations and I know thy poverty. He's, he's telling the Jews, I know you struggling right now. I know you struggling. You understand? Read on. But thou art rich. But what? But thou art rich. You understand? But we are rich. Why? Why are we rich? Because we are God's chosen people. You understand? Because we are the ones that come from Abraham's loins. We are the ones that inherit Abraham's promise. We're the ones that's going to rule over this entire earth when Christ come back. Right. You understand? Right. Read on. And I know the blasphemy of them. He knows the what? The blasphemy of them. He knows the truth. The blasphemy of them. You understand? You know what blasphemy means? Blasphemy means a wicked, disgusting lie. So he's telling you he knows the blasphemy of who? Of them, which say they are Jews. That do what? That say they are Jews. Nah, they claim to be Christian. That's which say they are Jews. Nah, they say that they are Muslim. Which say they are Jews. You understand the so-called Jewish man. You understand? The so-called, you know, the you know the Jewish man that wear the little, what they call it, the yarmulke hat? You understand? The little, the little, the little uh, condom cap that they put on the top of their head. You understand with the little dookie curls going down the side of their face? The fake, the fake Jew, the imposter. You understand him? Read that again. Which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. But they are what? Are the synagogue of Satan. You understand that hook nose basket stole our heritage, sits in our land and pretends to be us. The Lord says that is the synagogue of Satan. You understand? The white man is the devil that the Bible speak of, man. I want you to bring out in this book, you understand? I want you to turn to page 74. You understand? 74 in this book. This title of this book is called The Black Image in the White Mind. You understand? And what this book is about, this book is about a study that was done on black people. You understand? This was done during slavery. You understand? It's a study that was done on the craniums of black people because they was trying to figure out, you know, well, hey, we, we got these black folks in jail I mean, in, in, in slavery, the least we can do is figure out who, who it is that we got into slavery. You understand? So, they, so, so I'm going to show you what these archaeologists discovered. I want you to start right here. You understand? Read that. The black image in the white mind, page 74. The originator 
of, of the new scientific analogy was, was Dr. Samuel George Morton of Philadelphia, who published a book in 1839 that promised to bring the end to loose speculations about racial origins and differences by opening an era of hard-headed empiricism. You understand? Basically what this is saying is that it's always been an ongoing debate on who black people in America are. Where did they come from? Are they Egyptian? Are they African? Are they from outer space? You understand? It's always been a topic of debate. Who are black people in America? Where do they come from? You understand? Read on. Morton's cranium, Americana, was the result of years of collecting and, and examining human skulls. You understand? So for years, they examined the skulls of the slaves. They examined the skulls. Now, I ain't no uh, anthropologist. You understand? I see a skull, they all look the same to me. You understand? But these are men that studied this, so-called educated men. You understand? Read on. And he gathered and studied the crania of different types of men. Morton became aware of the differences between white, Indian, and Negro skulls. And of the fact that the ancient crania from a given race did not seem to differ from those of the modern descendants. You understand? What that's saying is that your forefathers, your, your cranium, the way your cranium is shaped is, uh, is almost identical throughout the generations. You understand? Meaning that it's, it's, it's not easily mistaken. You understand? Read on. Morton concluded that the races had always had the same physical characteristics. You understand? So, so he's saying that all through history, all the nations of the earth always had similar characteristics. You understand? Black people always had big nose, big lips. White people always had, uh, you know, the little half of Michael Jackson nose. Right. You understand? With them thin little cow lips. Right. You understand? Read on. Morton concluded that the races had always had the same physical characteristics by implication that the same mental qualities you understand meaning that the you know of course of course in the ISUPK we understand the men the mental qualities to mean that these people are gonna have the same spirit you understand these people are gonna have the same spirit that your forefathers did you understand read on in the 1840s, Morton collaborated with Dr. George R. Glyden, an Egyptologist. A what? An Egyptologist. You understand? You hear a lot of black people like to say, oh, we from Egypt. They like to wear the onk, we like to wear the onk on our necks. We get it tattooed on our skin. You understand? Like to call themselves uh, all these Egyptian, Abu Ra, the God. You know what I'm saying? On Facebook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Young Pharaoh, the God on Facebook. You understand? Meanwhile, you a slave in America, but you you young Amun Ra. You understand? So so this right here is an actual Egyptologist that studied anthropology, that actually had access to the to the graves and the bodies of the ancient Egyptians. You understand? Read on. Who provided him? with mummy heads and information about the racial significance of Egypt of Egyptian tomb, uh, so like a tomb inscriptions. You understand? So here, here, is it, here it is. He ain't, he ain't read this in no book. He sent them the actual mummies. You understand? That right there is white privilege 101. You understand? Black people, we can barely, we can barely buy books now. You understand? It's certain books with certain information that teach you the truth about who you are that cost thousands of dollars now. There was a dollar when they came out. You understand? Read on. In Crania. Um, Egyptica. Egyptica. In Crania, Egyptica, published in 1844, Morton pointed out that both cranial and archaeological evidence showed 
that the Egyptians were not Negro. They were what? Not Negro. Say the Egyptians were what? Not Negro. You understand, black man, you are not the Egyptian. You are not um, uh, 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 Akhenat. <laughs> you understand? You are not Ramses the third, the third. You understand? That was not us. You understand? That is not our history. You understand? If, you, if somebody try to tell you that, oh, we Egyptian, we follow Egyptology, we follow ancient Kemet, that's a goddamn lie, man. You understand? How, that's no different than Christianity. Christianity is a goddamn lie. That's no different than Islam. Islam is a goddamn lie. You understand? Because the Egyptians were Egyptians. You understand? The Egyptians were not the Negroes. And guess what? We all know where, where the Negroes ended up. The Negroes ended up in slavery in America, right? You understand? I know, I know, I consider myself a Negro. You you a Negro, right? You so like it, sir, you a Negro? You understand? We all Negroes in America. You understand? And the Egyptian, this this anthropologist is 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 discovering that black people in America are not Egyptians. But who are we? You understand? Read on. And, and as abolitionists and colonizationists had maintained in the fact blacks had been regulated to the same servile position in ancient Egypt as in modern America. You understand? That's just what I just brought out. You understand? It says that according to their studies, black people in America, the Negroes in America, served out the same servile position as they did in ancient Egypt. You understand? The same oppression that black people face in America, black people faced in ancient Egypt. You understand? Now I want you to drop that book. I want you to I want you to go to Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. You understand? I want you to go to Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. You understand? So black people, we served out the same slavery in America that we served out in ancient Egypt. You understand? Read on. Read that when you got it. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God. Which, you understand? This is the Lord speaking to the children of Israel. You understand? Read on. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of what? Out of the land of Egypt. Out of where? Out of the house of bondage. You understand? Out of the house of bondage. You understand? That was that was us that was that the Lord was talking to. We were the ones that served bondage in Egypt. We are the ones that served bondage in America. You understand? The slaves in America were the same slaves in ancient Egypt that the Lord parted the Red Sea and killed the entire Egyptian army to deliver. That's right. You understand? And what we're here to teach you today is that one day the Lord is going to wipe people, wipe, wipe white people off the face of this earth for what they did to our forefathers. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged 